Well, everybody always says it, don't run your diesel out of fuel. Well, I ran my diesel out of fuel, so I'm gonna go ahead and show everybody what to do if you run your diesel out of fuel. And it's not at all like a gasoline engine where you can just put gas in it and start it up again. The overall concept is you need to get all the air out of the system. So first, you need to fill up your fuel higher than the fuel filter. Using this stick, I'm gonna show you how high the fuel has to be. Notice the fuel filter. Notice how high the fuel is. The fuel has to be able to move down into the fuel filter. On top of the fuel filter, you'll find a bolt that you'll be able to loosen so the fuel will be able to drain up and get all the air out. Again, a real common mistake people make is not having the fuel in the tank higher than the fuel filter. Once you know you have all the air out, go ahead and close the bolt to seal it off. Next in line is the high pressure fuel pump. For the next process, you're gonna need to make sure your battery is fully charged. Go ahead and crank the engine over. This is going to start to build pressure in your fuel system, but the engine isn't gonna start yet. Now it's time to bleed the air out of the injectors. This is a three cylinder, so we're gonna go ahead and bleed the air out of all three injectors. Go ahead and get a wrench onto the nut on the injector. Go ahead and turn it and you're gonna see and hear the air hissing out. Once you know you've got the air out, go ahead and close it up and go to the next nut. Once you get the air out of there, of course, go to the third injector and you can really see quite a bit of air that's in the system. Once you have the air out of the injectors, go ahead and try cranking again, and you may have to repeat the process a few times. Eventually, you will get the air out of the system, and when you crank it, it'll start up and you're back in business. Now remember, don't run your diesel out of fuel. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you.